What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome back to the channel Telecom Asia Sports. The new season has started, and of course, there are a lot of things to consider when it comes to betting on all of the leagues in the new season. Um, we've had the first few matches play out so far, so we kind of have a good idea about you know how the dust is settling and some of the considerations to make when making winning selections for the upcoming game weeks. Um, I think we have a pretty good idea of you know teams performances we have a good idea of you know how teams are settling in you know yeah essentially things like you know goals things like you know victories just yeah all in all a pretty much standard guide on how to approach the new season when it comes to betting we start off with the premier league obviously um so far we've seen a lot of over, over 1.5 goals um before the start of the season would have said you know the potentials, Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool are pretty much um, the ways to go in terms of wins. And I think we've pretty much seen the same pattern playing out so far. Um, in terms of wins, especially, uh, looking at City, it's very hard to go you know, against City. They've won their first two matches. Liverpool have won their first two matches. Arsenal have won their first two matches. All against relatively you know, different types of opposition. Chelsea for Man City, Arsenal face Aston Villa, Liverpool have had easier fixtures. So those are the three teams you can expect, you know, to get, you know, some amount of decent goals. Um, of course, you have the, the the teams like Chelsea with over 2.5 goals, um, both teams to score. They look very defensively vulnerable, but they look like an attacking powerhouse, you know, an attacker's wet dream. Over 2.5 goals, over 3.5 goals, it's always a good shout. Um, Tottenham too have looked quite good for goals as well. Um, both teams to score. Some of the poorer teams, Newcastle, look like this season they'll struggle to score goals. So Newcastle for under 2.5 goals is probably a nice you know way to go. Um, a team like you know for example, uh, an Everton have struggled so far. So betting against Everton for games might be a pretty good way to go. West Ham as well have looked like they're good for a goal. So but it's a mixed bag with West Ham. Sometimes they will do it. Sometimes they won't. So you know. West Ham, but occasionally you could take a punt on West Ham. Um, and for Premier League, I think that's the way the dust looks to be settling. Let's check out the Spanish La Liga, which also has been quite interesting to watch so far. Let's come Madrid have looked very good. They've looked very good for goals as well. Goals and wins, over 2.5 goals. Um, they've got a, both teams to score in their first match. Real Madrid, after a shaky start, I think they'll go on a bit of a winning run, especially after their last win. Mbappe has looked quite disappointing. So picking him as an anytime goal scorer might be a bit of a struggle. So maybe with Madrid stick to, you know, the victories and the goals. Barcelona to have looked very good. They look like they've come out this season with a point to prove. And so going for a Madrid win, uh, a Barcelona win, sorry, might probably be a good idea. And then looking at teams like um, Sevilla and Villarreal, both teams to score over 2.5 goals. So Tavigo as well have looked very good and have looked very good for goals as well. Um, so for some matches and upcoming matches like Villarreal versus Celta Vigo, those are interesting ways to approach, you know, those betting markets. The Bundesliga will look at as well. They had their first game week last weekend. Bayern Munich started off with a win. It was a very narrow win, but they also look good for goals. Dortmund have looked very good on a on a on a, on a tactical point of view. Their new manager, um, Nuri Sahin, as you know, young. But he's also looked to have fixed up um, Dortmund's defense against Frankfurt. You'd expect them to have conceded. But surprisingly, they are, you know, edging out narrow wins, um, clean sheets. So Dortmund wins. Bayern will probably be a mixed bag. They didn't get a comfortable win, but it was a high scoring win. So look for goals for Bayern Munich. Over 2.5 goals, potentially both teams to score for Bayern Munich. And an occasional win against inferior opposition. You'd get good odds when they're the away team as well. Bayern Leverkusen to have looked very good. They've looked like they're vulnerable, especially, you know, you know, um, going on from last season where they used to score late goals, they concede goals. So for Bayer Leverkusen, both teams to score over 2.5 goals, um, backing them with a win. Sometimes a live bet where, you know, they've been pegged back and it looks like the game is going to end in a draw. Sometimes you can go for them to get the victories. RB Leipzig to have looked very good then. They are good for a win as well. Um, some of the show bankers. Holstein Q look to probably pose some kind of a problem. VFL Bokum look quite poor. They might be one to look for to go down. Um, yeah, and that's just essentially the Bundesliga in a nutshell. Always Bundesliga, we go high on goals for most of the matches. Let's see how Dortmund perform in the last, in the next few matches. Normally, Dortmund have been good for goals, but I think they have fixed up um, going forward, and it looks like they might prioritize defense. Um, and the Serie A actually is a probably pretty interesting one. Um, Juventus have looked, you know, good in their first match, but I was against Como. Let's see how they do against Hellas Verona. 
Um, I'll steer clear of them. Napoli, I think Napoli... I think Napoli lost their first match. Did they lose their second match as well? No, they won quite convincingly, actually. So that would probably have been... So I think Napoli would probably be an interesting one to look at this season. Um, again, with Antonio Conte, I think it would be a mixed season for them. So I would stay clear of Napoli if you want to keep your money. Um, Atalanta look to have goals in a similar fashion. Atalanta, um, their first match was quite impressive. But then following that, they lost to Torino. But of course, they are good for goals. Inter had a rocky first game. Um, and then they bounced back. And then they won their next game quite comfortably. So I think we'll see them you know, progress and move on from there, probably with a few more wins under their belt. Roma lost to Empoli, so it's another one to stay clear of. Um, it looks like this season again, it went under Daniele De Rossi. is going to be a very difficult one for them. And then um, AC Milan look like, ov- obviously, they're going to be a mixed bag as well. But again, they look like they are very vulnerable at the back and have the potential to concede goals. So that's one thing to look out for. So it looks like this season for the Serie A, the both teams to score market will be a very interesting one. Normally, Serie A is, you know, known for their low-scoring tactical games, but it looks like with the influx of attacking talent in their league this season, um, the newcomers who are probably playing, you know, with a chip on their shoulder, trying to prove something, the likes of a Venezia, the likes of a Como, and then, um, you know, teams like Cagliari and Lecce and Bologna, who have also, you know, they look to impress and they look to push on from their good performances last season. I can see them, um, you know, putting some of the bigger teams to the test. Um, and then, of course, the French League A, where many people didn't think that um, PSG would be able to survive without um, killing Mbappe. They've looked very, very good. They've scored 10 goals in their last two matches. Um, and so, for the French Liga, I'd say for the likes of PSG, we should look at goal scoring. Um, either handicap victories or goal scoring. Look at the handicap. The minus one handicap against Montpellier was 1.78. They scored six. It was a 6-0 victory for PSG. Um, and it looks like PSG are going to be a very tough team to beat this season. And then what I like about the French League R2 is that we see a lot of goals playing out. So I'd say for the French League R, I would say back and stay on the over 2.5 goal market as well. It will probably be, you know, a good shout. Um, but yeah, this is our website, Telecom Asia Sports, where we have all sorts of betting tips. You can look at our tips for the upcoming games, for the weekend's fixtures, for the midweek fixtures in the Champions League and the Premier League. Um, and in the other leagues, La Liga, French Liga and stuff. So, obviously, check us out. And yeah, those are just some early considerations for the new season. Um, some things to consider when placing bets on the, the, the new le- seasons in the new leagues. Um, in the French Liga, and the English Premier League, and the Spanish La Liga. Keep these in mind. They would help you out quite a bit. Um, these are things we've just um, analysed and we've um, picked up so far. Things could change, obviously. But I think for the early weeks, you know, these are some of the patterns we've seen emerge and play out. And I think it's a very safe and sure way to go. Um, we placed a few bets this weekend. You know, we came out on top in, in most of them. I think maybe 8 out of 10 or, you know, 10 out of 12, we came through. There were a few outliers, obviously. But all in all, it looks like, you know, the season has started on a very positive note in that sense. So stay tuned. We'll come back as the season progresses with even more tips even more patterns to look out for, even more things to consider. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've not subscribed already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you found this video useful, please remember to drop a like. Leave a comment telling us how the season is going so far for you guys. And we'll see you in the next one.